So this is who we are supporting today, who's doing a great work um, in Otinibi. Alright, so stay tuned, this is who we're following today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. <laughs> Okay, so as I said to you that Shield of Butler is here, we're here to support a charity called Mary Sower Foundation. I had to turn around and look <laughs> at the banner, okay? And leading that charity is Jennifer of Parry. Aye. Okay, so I'm going to let, I want to just know more about how the charity was formed and the history on it. So, Jennifer, <laughs> Over to just me, I tell guess. us, yes, just tell us how the charity came about? So the charity actually is named after my grandma. Her name is Mary Sowa, or was Mary Sowa. Today actually is the fifth anniversary of her death. Oh, sorry to hear and that. And she died suddenly. Oh. The story of my grandma goes back to when she was a little girl and she was heavily invested in education. Okay. But her father had a different agenda. Her father's view was that girls should stay in the kitchen, in the kitchen. and mm -hmm. at home. So she told the story when I was growing up of running to the school and sneaking in mm. and listening until I guess the teachers cutting up to what she was up to and then they sent her away. But growing up, she's always sent the message, you need to get your education. education. Not just formal education, but hand skills. Mm. life skills, mm. things that you can turn your hands to like sewing, cooking, right. as well as having a formal education. So when she died, I was thinking about the best way to honor her. Right. It started off as a, a selfish pursuit, I have to be honest, because <laughs> I wasn't quite sure how to accept that she was gone. She was gone, yeah. And yeah. I wanted to keep her memory going and I went through different things that she was interested in mm. and I came back to the education. Education. If she was here and a child is walking past with a high school uniform, the first thing she would say, come here. Yes. Why are you not in school? Right. Who are your parents? Mm. You should be in school. Yeah. So here's the reason for the charity. Charity. To try and keep children in school. In school. In school. And so the school that we're in now has a lot of children dropped out or the uh, like I don't know a number. But there are a number of kids that drop out. So this is a government school. Education is free. Okay. But there are challenges. Right. If you look at the area, it's quite deprived. Children come from families that don't quite have enough to feed or clothe them. All right. Sorry. Let me get this right. So it's a government school. So they don't have to pay to come to school. They don't have to pay to come to school. So Education is free. So what would cause them, do you think, to drop out? Uniform, books, shoes, perhaps a l coming from a large family. A okay. family can't afford to send everybody to school. So they pull you out to help, to sell, to bring food, right. basically put food on the table. Okay, so it's a government school, but they don't give them books free. No. Okay, so they've got to buy their books, buy their uniform. So there's still a little bit of a cost for them to come to school? There's still a cost. Okay. Getting to school is also a challenge. Most of the kids, I think they walk from my here. I'm not sure of the miles, but it's quite it's a, a distance. Yeah. 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 Okay. So there, well, there are challenges along the way. Yeah. Um, education is only free if you can get there. Right. And um, if you speak to the school, they will tell you they do shifts. 
because the classrooms are not big enough okay. to accommodate all the children. Oh, wow. But it means that they're not spending enough time with In the school, kids. Yeah, yeah. With but the, the kids. space is there, the land is there, so yeah. we want to see what we can do. Mm, right to build to and ensure that the kids are in school and they have sufficient time right. with the teachers. Okay, right, so there you have it. Um, that's what we're here to support, okay? So if you're listening to me wherever you are in the world, okay, let's think about supporting Mary Sower Foundation. It's all about the children. Remember, the children's the future, okay? These are your, your next doctors and nurses and lawyers. Okay, so please just help us to support the Mary Sower Foundation and we're here to support the launch and the reopening of behind me this library. So that means that they've refurbished it and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned. Just to say something about the library, when we discovered it, the floors were and un un uneven right. and um, it was a risk to wow. the children wow. so we took it as a project to try and make it as comfortable okay. to encourage the children to be able to sit right. and have a place that they can study right. um, before they go home because I'm not sure what the home environment is like for these kids mm. um, it's all about breaking that cycle so they don't stay in poverty so are there like computers? not computers not but yet. there are desks right okay Computers, hopefully, is something we can aim and work towards. Right, okay. So, um, the future is looking great, guys, with your help. Okay? Books. Any mark set. Any dear Eki This is the donation that they've made to all the children. And so pink was for the girls and blue was for the boys. So inside, so they've all got their little folders. And then inside they've got the they've got the notebook. So they can, you know, take notes in, in their class. They've got like, it's a math set. I know what it is. I know what it is. Sorry, my cameraman's telling me what it is. Like I didn't go to school, um, but it's a math set. So, you know, it's got the, the ruler and, and all that. The, the <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, so they've got that. Um, and others have got like pens in them. Um, this one doesn't have it but they've got pens and colouring pencils. And so, these are the, this is the good thing that we need to do, okay? So, dig deep. So, um, this is where the community is now coming to receive donations, as you can see behind me. Um, there's like a multitude of them. All, um, waiting to receive something to make them smile. So, lots of people. Lots of people. They're all waiting. 
and you can see that um, you know the word has gone out and they're all here you know it's just amazing it amazes me you know so these are all and I've said to you before that if you can't donate financially, please look in your closet. There's stuff in there that you haven't worn for years that are still good. And some of them still have the tag on. But because they got the tag on, you know you're not going to wear it, but you still refuse to donate. Come on, we've got to do better than this, guys. Okay? I'm not even sure if you can hear me, but there's a lot of. So he's actually introducing the stuff. Okay? Alright, so. saying that um, we've come to the end it's like going up to about midday so we've been here for about 8 30 um, it's been great you know um, they've given books and everything to the children and clothes to the community and they opened this beautiful library which they refurbished and everything so here's my my plea there are many children here that didn't get books there are many children that don't have uniforms so they've had to drop out of school um, or they don't have um, books, exercise books to write in to attend school. Yes, I know Shield and Buckler's mainly um, about the homeless. But guess what? There are actually homeless children that attend this school. So although they're homeless, they're still coming to school. So I really just want us to really please just dig deep. I'm not asking you for a lot. I'm just asking you for the pound. The one pound, you know, a pound a week, five pounds a month, whatever it is that you feel that you can manage, just dig deep, please give to Shield and Buckler. We will give it to all of these other charities that they're supporting. You can even name the charity that you want us to give it to, okay? And so we know it goes directly to them. Please, have a heart. Everybody is somebody, so they deserve a little love from somewhere. They don't have to be your relative, they don't have to know you. Okay, and I don't know that, but I see them in my heart just like, oh my gosh, what can we do? I mean, I'm just waiting to be a millionaire so I can do much more. Okay, please subscribe to Shield and Buckle channel. Follow us, go to our website, shieldandbuckle.org. Keep up with what we're doing. Okay, and be a part of it. All right, peace.
helping Tim and join with, John with the rooms for tonight because it's freezing outside. Thank you. Thank you to Shul Bakla for buying me all these things today.